Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to In the Studio with Magic Sampletude and Sequoia. In this series, I'm showing you through the amazing feature set that's contained in Sampletude and Sequoia to aid you in your production. Today, we're going to dive into the amazing editing features contained in the program. We're going to go over auto crossfades, pitch automation, and of course, the very unique and powerful object-based editing. You ready? Let's dive in. Since Samplitude first came out on the scene in 1989, it's been known for its stellar sound quality and amazing editing capabilities. But before we dive into these editing features, let's look at some important screen elements that I have going on. The first thing you'll notice is the waveform is kind of rainbow colored. That's because Samplitude right now is set to Comparisonics. This uses the color spectrum to show the frequency spectrum of the audio content, meaning low pitch is represented by dark colors, high pitch is represented by bright colors. Example, on this kick drum track, as we zoom in, we see that the low kick drum sound is represented by a dark color. Where the snare drum bleed on the same track is brighter in color, representing the higher frequencies that are present and dominating in the audio content. Now on this track, it's not a big deal, but let's go back into standard waveform view. Now let's look at the high tom track, as if we were going to go into that track and do hand gating by chopping out the parts we don't need, leaving only the toms behind. This section has tom hits that we can hear clearly, but to isolate those hits, we need to play the part repeatedly in order to cut the file correctly. But if we turn on the comparisonics, it becomes easy to distinguish which is the tom hits and which are other elements of the drum kit. These two hits, for example, look almost like high tom hits when viewed in a single color representation, but are easily spotted using comparisonics as not being tom hits when the tom hits stand out clearly. This becomes a very beneficial feature as we jump into real life editing situations. On the tracks in the VIP window, all of the audio and MIDI and clips and portions of audio, you could say, are called objects. And all audio objects have handles for adjusting the fade in, the fade out, and the volume of the object. When two objects are joined to one another, the crossfade is also represented. Crossfades are all non-destructive, and Samplitude's auto crossfading allows you to preset the size of the crossfade, the crossfades that are automatically placed when an object is cut into two separate objects. One of Samplitude and Sequoia's truly unique features is its object-based editing. This gives you real-time control over each object independently, allowing you to insert a plugin, change the EQ, control the object's volume and pan, adjust time and pitch, edit the fades, even aug sends are available directly on the object editor for the selected object. Anything you would do normally from a mixer and more is available to each object independently. Now let's put the object editor into a real life situation. In this example, there are plosives on this vocal track. Now with Comparisonics on, we can easily see these plosives as well as we can also hear them. But having a visual speeds up the editing process immensely. Watch this. I'm gonna show you how to go through and edit out these plosives on this vocal take very quickly, very easy, and very effectively using the object-based editing. First, let's take a listen to the first vocal line of this take. A dead man walking these streets. As you can hear, the very last syllable of this line has a very low end rumble to it because of air hitting the diaphragm. Uh, we wanna be able to remove that rumble, but leave the S there. So in this example, I'm gonna go through and we're gonna isolate streets. it. By cutting it and turning it into its own object, open up the object-based editing, turn on the EQ, we're gonna adjust it so it has a low cut and cut everything about 250 and below. We're gonna play it back. Streets. Now all that we have is the S for the word streets. Can these streets. Great, now using Comparisonics, we can see that the low end rumble is being represented by a very dark color. So we're gonna scroll right along through this take and find other light colors without even having to listen to it. We can quickly go through and find these colors and edit them out the exact same way by pasting in the setting. So let's scroll. Okay, there's another one right there. I'm gonna hit paste. Now it has the same. We'll open up the crossfade edit so it's not quite such an abrupt change of EQing. Not 
All right, scroll on to the next one. Here's one at the end of this word. You can clearly see it using Comparisonics. Take a listen to it before. Out. And now we're gonna paste it setting in. Out. Perfect. Okay, now scrolling along, we'll go to find the next one. Next one is a very loud plosive. Take a listen. From a crack. One more time. From a crack. Almost knocks my subwoofer over. So select that. Paste the setting in. We're going to open up the crossfade coming out to make it a little bit smoother of a transition back into a normal word because this is such a big plosive. It's from a crack inside. Awesome. One more time. It's from a crack inside. Okay, now let's turn off the EQ for this one and we will take a listen to the unaffected. It's from a crack. Now let's turn it back on. It's from a crack. Great, just that easy. Now we can go through and clean out an entire vocal take in just a couple minutes by simply cutting out the parts, applying the EQ to it. There are no automation curves to draw. It's very simple and very quick. Elastic Audio Samplitude's pitch automation was developed back in 2006 and integrated seamlessly into Samplitude making it so there's no need for Melodyne or Anteras or other third-party plugins to be used. Elastic Audio is a full-featured auto-tune and pitch automation editor that allows you to go from hard auto-tuning, also called the share effect, Not from overflow, it sounds. to gentle intonation of voice and instruments. And not from overflow, it sounds. Now there's two different approaches in Elastic Audio. First, there's standard auto-tune. You can adjust the speed in which the retuning is applied, and you can choose from many different algorithm types, whichever is best suited for the material you're working on. The second approach is to use Elastic Audio for intonating and hand adjusting a performance. The tone section differs from the pitch contour section in that where the pitch contour is for auto-tune, the tone section is for intonating the performance while keeping the inflections and the natural vibrato and feel of the original take. Using the tone section, then working the take using the hand tools, you can quickly give the performance a tune-up without any of the artifacts caused by straight hard auto-tuning. A heart that only beats to breathe Not someone you'd meet And say to yourself, wish that was me a heart that only beats to breathe Not someone you'd meet And say to yourself Wish that was me Samplitude also contains a very powerful audio quantizing editor. Audio quantizing will go through and analyze the audio and place markers at the peaks. This allows you to quantize the audio to a grid as well as just use these markers to trigger drum samples. Now to use these audio markers to trigger replacement drum sounds, simply turn these audio markers into MIDI events. Now the MIDI can then be edited and set up to trigger your favorite VSTI instrument or sampler. And once finished, you can simply freeze the track, which renders the MIDI track back into a WAV file, freeing up the computer resources because the computer no longer has to carry the load of the VSTI instrument or the sampler you're using. From concept to burning the final CD master at the end of your project, Sampletude is a complete digital audio workstation. Now don't just take my word for it, go to Sampletude.com and download the demo version of this program today. Put it through its paces. Now, I thank you for taking the time to watch this. Go make some music.